हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू सेशन इन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड मोर टुडे सेशन इज अबाउट डेंटिन सो विल बी कवरिंग दिस अंडर फ्यू सेशंस सो द फर्स्ट सेशन इज अबाउट डेंटिन इट्स फॉर्मेशन इट्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड लिटिल डिटेल्स अबाउट द डेंटिनल ट्यूब्यूल्स एंड सेकंड पार्ट इज अबाउट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डेंटिन एंड द लास्ट सेशन विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट द थियरीज relating uh, the dentin uh, transmission of nerve impulses so let's see uh, one by one so dentin uh, as we all know it is uh, a tooth layer basically the second layer of tooth uh, which provides the bulk and general form of the tooth and it begins to form slightly before the enamel and it determines the shape of crown including the cusp and ridges and also the number and size of the roots so let's get into the details of dentin so dentin the heart structure of tooth just like enamel which is physically and chemically it closely resembles bone and it is said to be a living tissue then enamel is not a living tissue it is mostly uh, a vascular a cellular but dentin is living tissue since the tubules present in it contains processes of specialized cell which are odontoblast okay so odontoblast so since it has odontoblast which is known as living tissue we can say that it is a living tissue unlike enamel so main morphologic difference between bone and dentin is that some of the osteoblast osteoblast are the bone cells exist on the surface of the bone and when one of the cells become enclosed within its matrix it is called an osteocyte okay but the odontoblast cell bodies remain external to dentin okay but their processes exist within the tubules in dentin but the cell bodies remain external to dentin the osteocyte is not there in odontoblast there is no odontocyte in osteocyte it is nothing but when the cell becomes enclosed within its matrix okay but these odontoblast cell bodies remain external to dentin that is the basic difference between bone and uh, dentin or we can say osteoblast and odontoblast we have uh, osteocyte uh, in bone which is enclosed within the matrix and uh, stages of tooth development we have uh, studied in detail the stages of tooth development in enamel it's almost same nothing is different only thing is the odontoblast which is giving rise to dentin first the inner enamel epithelium it influences the pulp to differentiate the odontoblast to form the first layer of dentin then dentin forms when dentin forms it in turn differentiate the ameloblast the inner enamel epithelium into ameloblast so once this dentin predentin is formed the nutritional supply to the inner enamel epithelium is cut and the nutrition will be taken from the dental sac so this is the dentin which forms predentin forms so it forms in the coronal part and even the dent, uh, root part so we have two types of dentin the coronal dentin and root dentin and this is a cervical loop so there will be proliferation at this area this will results in a uh, root formation and uh, this is giving rise to hardwick's epithelial root sheath so all this we have covered in detail in the development of tooth and also in enamel uh, chapter so coronal part i have mentioned in enamel chapter in detail so the um, root tendon um, when the root formation proceeds the epithelial cells from the epi the cervical loop which proliferates apically and influences the differentiation of odontoblast from the dental papillae as well as cementoblast from the follicle okay this is a follicle this is dental papillae 
so it differentiate the dental papillae to form the root dentin and it will differentiate the cells from the dental sac to form cementum so there will be deposition of root dentin and cementum so that is about uh, formation of odontoblast or dentin so the structure of dentin basically the dentinal matrix of collagen fibers are arranged in network so it is arranged in a network and as this dentin calcifies calcifies the hydroxy apatite crystal mass the collagen fibers so the bodies of odontoblast they are arranged in layer on the pulpal surface of the dentin okay so bodies are arranged in so these are arranged this is a pulpal surface so this is a pulp this red color so bodies are arranged this is a pulpal surface okay this is a pulpal surface so the body the odontoblast odontoblast will be like with a projection and will be like this so this is a tail and this is a head part so the bodies of odontoblast arranged in a layer on the pulpal surface so this will be arranged in the layer on the pulpal surface on the dentin and only their cytoplasmic processes are included in the tubules in the mineral matrix okay so each cell give rise to one process which traverses the pre-dentin and calcified dentin within one tubule and terminates in a branching network to the DEJ or CEJ so it goes starts from the pulpal surface and it terminates here this is the enamel the outermost covering and it's it terminates at the DEJ or CEJ which is the root portion where cementum and dentin meets which is known as cemento dentinal junction in crown it meets with enamel which is known as dentino enamel junction okay now let's learn something about dentinal tubules which is basically the course of these tubules follow a gentle curve okay so the gentle curve so it is a uh, double curvature and uh, this is known as uh, S-shaped curve. So we have a S-shaped curve. This is like this S-shaped curve, and uh, it starts at right angle at the pulpal surface. Okay, so this is a pulpal surface. It starts at right angle to the pulpal surface, just like uh, enamel. It starts from right angle to the dentinal surface. So it starts right angle at the pulpal surface, and first convexity of this doubly curved course is directed towards the apex of tooth. Okay. So it will be like this. So the first convexity towards the apex. Okay. This is the first convexity and this is the second convexity. So first convexity towards the apex of tooth. So and these tubules are perpendicular to DEJ and CEJ. Okay. So DEJ will be on the crown and CEJ. C uh, not CEJ, C DJ. That is cemento dentinal junction. This will be in root and the EJ will be in crown. And this is double curvature, double convex, and it has a shaped uh, pattern. So, dentinal tubules are almost straight near the root tip, at the root tip, which will be almost straight, and also straight at the incisal edges and cusps. So, dentin thickness ranges from 3 to 10 millimeter, and the ratio between outer to inner dentin has 5 is to 1 that is outer has 5 tubules compared to the inner tubules the ratio between outer to inner number of tubules is 5 to 1 the more tubules are present in the outer portion of dentin that is which is closer to the enamel and number of tubules per square millimeter varies from 15,000 at DEJ but the number of tubules is lesser at DEJ and more at pulp that is around 15,000 at DEJ but 65,000 near the pulp surface so 5 is to 1 was the outer and inner dentinal surface ratio okay 5 is to 1 but this is number of tubules per square millimeter so number of tubules per square millimeter is very low or less than uh, 50,000 or around 15,000 at DEJ but it is 65,000 at pulp whereas 
the outer and inner surface of dentine is about 5 is to 1 okay so outer dentine is 5 with respect to um, inner dentine 5 times uh, bigger outer dentine compared to the inner dentine and next we have uh, dentinal tubules and it has lateral branches throughout the dentine which is termed as canaliculi or microtubules and this enamel spindle we have learned in uh, chapter enamel that is the odontoblast process okay so the odontoblastic processes which uh, extends through the DJ into enamel several millimeters which is known as enamel spindle actually enamel spindle is not an enamel structure which is actually odontoblastic that is a related dentin which which transverse or which enter into this DEJ for few millimeter and it terminates in enamel that is why it is known as enamel spindle this is the odontoblast which extends from DEJ extends through DEJ into enamel okay so that is known as enamel spindle so next we have uh, various types of dentin uh, in next session we will be learning about types of dentin such as peritubular dentin, intertubular dentin, um, free dentin uh, and odontoblastic processes, uh, primary dentin, secondary dentin, tertiary dentin. So all will be dealt in next session. Okay. Thank you.